know it doesn't look like it, but this is actually a travel dog kennel. This is the brand new Diggs and Venture dog kennel. You actually um, can't even buy these right now. You have to pre-order them. So this is a super versatile, really unique dog kennel. It's definitely one of a kind, and I wanted to show it to you today. So it comes um, like this, and as you can see, you know, you wrap it up, it hooks. There are some easy travel handles here on the sides. So it's definitely easy to take around with you. And it actually blows up in just over a minute. the kennel looks like when it's blown up this is the largest size it's for dogs weighing up to 80 pounds and you can see that it's the perfect size for our 75 pound Labrador Retriever the external dimensions it's 40 inches long by 24 inches wide by 30 inches high and then the internal dimensions are 38 inches long by 20 inches wide by 26 inches high the kennel itself carrying it around it only weighs just over 20 pounds so it's incredibly lightweight for a kennel this size. Um, there are two smaller sizes, a small and a medium. If you click the link below this video, that will take you to my written guide, which has the dimensions of the two smaller sizes as well. As I mentioned, this kennel is a first of its kind. It is an inflatable kennel, but it's made of puncture resistant waterproof material that has actually been tested to military standards. It also features chew resistant mesh. So you can see on the front here, if you wanna close the kennel, you wanna zip it, it zips closed. Um, and there's this mesh material here. And then there's also mesh material on the windows on both sides. And then there's also a back panel here that unzips and you can fold that in um, when it folds flat. And then it just kind of locks in place once it's inflated and you can zip it closed. You can find more information about the material that the kennel is made out of. Um, it's safe, the, the uh, plastic material that it's made of is safe. It's uh, free of all the harmful chemicals that might make your dog sick if he, for example, likes to lick the kennel or something like that. Um, so again, click the link below this video. That'll take you to my written guide and all of that safety information is there. The sizes maximize the space for your dog, but also fit comfortably in most vehicles, which is why this is called a travel kennel. You can see the angled wall sizes here, how um, the back is angled and then these sides are angled. So it is made to fit in the cargo space of your vehicle without taking up too much space. If you notice the cargo space of a vehicle is typically wider at the bottom and kind of narrows as it comes up by the windows. And so the kennel is designed specifically for that. That's that mesh panel on the front that I was talking about. Since the floor and the walls are air cushioned, they're really comfortable for your pet. Um, obviously, as you can tell, all our dogs enjoy this crate. So you can put a little blanket or a bed in there if you want to, but just by itself, it's really comfortable, which you know that in itself is a unique feature of a travel crate. Even soft-sided crates, there's nothing on the bottom to cushion your dog. So they're still laying on the hard floor. Um, I love that the crate's waterproof. We do a lot of hiking and camping with our dogs, and this is a really um, great thing to bring camping because it's waterproof, so you can put it on the ground, and even if it rains, even if the ground is moist, um, it's not the kennel itself is not gonna get wet or ruined like a soft-sided crate would. The small size of the crate has passed bench seats crash safety testing because, as I mentioned, this is a brand new product. There is ongoing testing for the medium and large sizes, but again, click the link below and in my written review is all that information about um, the different safety tests and you know how safe this crate is for your dog to be in, period, and how safe it is to travel with the crate. Um, as I showed you, it's a really super simple to inflate. It's just as easy to deflate um, and you can see here, there are um, uh, next to the buckles that um, you know bind it together when it's folded, there are D-rings here. So that helps to secure it to your vehicle um, with tie downs or um, if you want to, Diggs actually offers 
um, tie downs as well that you can buy with the crate. Same thing with the pump. It actually works with any hand pump that you have that's good for like a stand up paddle board um, with that nozzle on it. It's it's this right here. Um, so if you already have a pump that does that, you don't need it, but Dig sells one to go along with the crate if you need one. Um, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and let the air out of it and show you how easy it is to deflate. I knew that was gonna make Sadie a little, little nervous. I'm gonna unzip that back panel um, like I showed you and fold that in so it'll all kind of deflate and then it sort of squashes down in on itself. I'll tuck that in. And sort of like, you know, deflating um, a, a beach, something from the beach, you're just gonna push all the air out of it and then you can fold it over. And buckle those belts. And then, as I said, it's got these easy carrying handles and that's it, it's that simple. Um, again, this is the largest size and it weighs just over 20 pounds. It's 20 and a half pounds. So super easy to take along with you. Um, folds really small. So while you're not using it, it can be stored really easily. About the only drawback to this crate is the price. Um, it's 425 for the small, $475 for the medium, and then it's actually um, $525 for this large size like I have here. So certainly, you know, not gonna be affordable for everyone. It's definitely a pricey kennel, but if you travel with your dog in the car a lot, um, you know, this is so much easier than those heavy metal crates to one, get in and out of the vehicle to take along with you. Like I said, if you're camping, um, if you're staying in a hotel, if you're visiting friends and family, this is so easy and lightweight. Um, you can literally take it anywhere with no trouble. So, you know, for me, is it a good value for the money? Yeah, if you're gonna use it a lot, it certainly is. I mean, if it's something that you're only gonna use once in a while, you're obviously probably gonna be better off for your budget to go with a cheaper crate. But um, if, if you travel a lot with your dogs, this crate is such a, a great, um, handy way to keep your dog safe and comfortable while you're on the go.